Hi, this is Rina from thecheesethief.blogspot.com and I'm here to show you how to marbleize your nails. So my first tutorial was actually how to marbleize this ornament and the ornament was actually inspired by the nails. So let me show you how to marbleize your nails. I did um, look at a lot of tutorials online before doing this one and I have to be honest with you, it was really hard to get it to work but I actually found a few good tips so I hope that if you've failed at doing this once or a few times, you don't give up and these tips will actually help you and you'll be able to achieve this technique. I actually did go through a lot of nail polish and a lot of nail polish remover before I was actually able to successfully get it done. So my first tip is use the smallest cup that you have that will fit your fingers. So I'm actually using this glass and it's, it looks like a shot glass. It's about the size of a shot glass. It, it widens, but I only filled the water up a little uh, halfway so that I could dip my finger in and it's actually a smaller circumference. And I'm using two bottles of nail polish. This one is OPI All Lacquered Up and this one is Orly uh, French White. Experiment. So my second tip is experiment with a lot of different colors because you don't know which nail polish actually works the best and I actually th like these two brands. I think they work, work pretty well together. Another tip is if you can't get it done with three or four colors, start with two because that's the easiest. You're going to just keep alternating the colors. And another tip that I actually think is very handy and is you want to do a base coat on your nails and then a lot of the tutorials tell you to use tape and tape around your nails which I think is a bit of a hassle. What I actually uh, thought of is just using, this is um, it's just some lip balm, and then I go around my finger, and then I go all around to anywhere that it's actually gonna touch the nail, even in the back. And then the great thing about lip balm is that you can get all around your cuticles too, so that you don't have to use so much nail polish remover. You don't wanna get your nails though, because then the nail polish won't stick, but yeah, I, this, this little tidbit is really helpful and so I got that all on my nails and now I'm going to start with the tutorial on how to do this. So you need a toothpick, um, a cotton swab which I need to go grab and white nail polish and red nail polish for this one. So I'm going to start with the red, it doesn't matter which one you start with and a drop red in and you're going to create a bullseye pattern so red, white and I think the smaller cup helps because the nail polish doesn't dry as fast and because it's thicker it doesn't spread out and dry as fast so Just gonna do one more color in the middle. See if I can get that to spread a little better. Okay, so after you have that done, you're just gonna take your toothpick and then create whatever pattern you want. Um, I usually just do, and the good thing about a small cup is that you only have to do a really small pattern um, for your nail where your nail is gonna go in. You don't have to do the whole thing and mess it up. So I only do that little end over there and then I just twist it around and then I shake it a little if I want to spread out the pattern. So you can see this one, it has that swirl thing so I kind of want to replicate that same swirl and I'm just going to dip my finger. Let me see if you can see that. Let me show you the pattern and then I'm going to dip my finger into the water and then I'm just going to take this Q-tip that I have and scoop up the can't see that so I'm going to take this q-tip and scoop up all the nail polish that's around it that's floating on top and then once that is done I'm going to pull out my nail and then you can see that the pattern is there and the great thing about putting all that uh, nail um, lip balm around your fingers you can just wipe off the nail polish so if you see that I'm actually going to use a q-tip and this has nothing this is just a dry q-tip but you can see because I put nope um, 
lip balm around there, I can just wipe it off. So that was just a little trick that I figured out. So I hope that helps you. And um, using filtered water in there supposedly works better. I don't know if it's just in my head, but I, I do just take tap water and run it through the Brita filter. And that um, has significantly helped me um, using experimenting with a nail polish. And I think the biggest thing is use the smallest cup possible. That will help you enormously. So I hope that these tips helped, and here are my nails. Um, see, so I couldn't get all of it off. I mean, you're still going to have to use nail polish remover and clean up all the edges a little, but I think that using that lip balm really helped a lot. Um, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, and it helps you. Please visit me at thecheesethief.blogspot.com for more tips and information, and I have some pictures up there of this ornament and just other little tutorials that I have. Thanks, and have a great day. Bye.